Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Pick Human, with columnist Ron Higgins. And we're up here in the frigid northwest corner of Arkansas where we watched LSU uh, take it on the chin big time. Uh, 17 to nothing. Uh, Arkansas breaks a 17 game losing streak in SEC play. Uh, everything kind of fell into place for this to happen tonight. LSU coming off a Heartbreaking loss to Alabama, uh, uh, Arkansas with a week off to get ready. They looked like it. They did some things different, Les Miles said. But uh, this game came down to LSU's uh, season-long issue, and that is at quarterback. They need to make a change now. Um, it's obvious that uh, Anthony Jennings cannot uh, spark this team. He, uh, they did nothing tonight. Season low, 123 yards. It was just ridiculous. Uh, it's It, it was uh... – Appalling. I mean, you expected them to be a little bit emotionally drained from the, the loss last week, but uh, we'll get to defense in a second because LSU's defense came to play. The offense was horrible from the beginning. Again, you're playing with one hand tied behind your back. Uh, you're playing with the quarterback who, who, who can't throw the ball. They don't have enough passing plays. They're safe for him to throw. Defense is honing on it. As an example, the other team, Brandon Allen, who started the season for, for Arkansas, with being questioned about his passing ability tonight was, you know, they trust him to throw on third down. He had, I think he had like eight, eight third down throws for first downs, and they trust him to throw the ball because they trust him. He improved. Anthony Jennings has improved. Not one bit. He got one game left against a and in a bowl game. You know, so if you lose four or five games, what's the difference? You play – Brandon Harris at A&M a couple of weeks on Thanksgiving night, and you go with it. That's right. I agree. Uh, and, and like you mentioned, uh, ruined a good, pretty good effort by the defense. I thought they did a good job of, uh, of, of uh, holding uh, Arkansas down. Uh, they, they stopped them several times. They gave the ball back to the offense. The defense has definitely improved this year, and that's, that's good going forward, uh, going into next year, going into a bowl game, and um, – if, if they can get the quarterback situation set, uh, I think they'll, they'll have a good enough defense next year to where they can be a player in the playoff. Absolutely. Uh, it, it was a great defensive effort tonight. I mean, they held Arkansas like 95 yards rushing. This is a team that has two players averaging over 90 yards each. And the, the, the defense, you couldn't stand up about them. They kept them in the game all the way to the early fourth quarter. They, they kept them in there. They, they, they played their butts off. And, uh, I mean, there are some games that are team loss, and there are some games that aren't team loss. And this was all on the offense. Okay, well, that's about it. Uh, Ron and I are going to go try to get warm somewhere. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty cold here, 33 degrees at kickoff, and it's uh, we're, we're glad to be getting home. And uh, stay with us on NOLA.com. We'll be writing more about uh, the Texas A&M game and the LSU Bowl game on NOLA.com.